Good morning, brother. The mic. The mic. No problem, brother. We get you all set up. I didn't press it yet, huh? Uh, you ain't got me on yet. Yeah. You on? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Unto the heavens. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Amen. Thank God for his goodness this morning. Thank God for the house of God. Thank God for a place that we can come. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus, to give God some glory and some praise. Amen. Hallelujah. We need the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. So we lean not to our own understanding. All of our ways, we want to acknowledge him. He said he would direct our path. Yes, sir. Amen. I would love to just sing a song this morning. Amen. How much we in love with God. Amen. Oh, bless his name this morning. Let's lift our hands up towards heaven. I love you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And your mercy never fails me. All my days, I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I'm going to sing of the goodness of God. Yes, Lord. I love your voice, yes. It has led me through the fire, through the darkest nights. You were close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. So I'm going to sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I'm going to sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice, yeah. You have led me through the fire, through the darkest nights. You were close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. And I'm going to sing of the goodness of God. Oh, I'm going to sing of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's so good to sing of God's goodness. Amen. Amen. He's been so good to us. Amen. He's been faithful all of my days, Pastor. Amen. Amen. He's been faithful. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Even when I was unfaithful, he still was faithful. Amen. Oh, glory to God. He's a faithful God. Right. Hallelujah, Amen. Lord. Amen. So I serve him with gladness. Amen. I come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Yes, it is he that has made us, not we ourselves. Yes, sir. Amen. We are his people. We're the sheep of his pastor. Yes, We're going to enter to his gate with thanksgiving, into his course with praise. Yes. We're going to bless his name, for the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endure to all generations. Yes, Thank God for your truth, O oh Father. Amen. Thank God for your word. That word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Amen. Amen. I'm so thankful for the goodness of God this morning. Thank God for the pastor Herman Young. Thank God for the first lady. Thank God for the congregation. Thank God for the choir. And thank God, hallelujah, for all of us, amen, that lift up our hands in the sanctuary without doubt and wrath, trusting and believing in God, leaning on to our own understanding, and all of our ways acknowledging him, and he shall, He said he shall direct our path. Amen. Amen. A righteous man put our heart about a lot of the things that God has called him to do. He called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. And he said, oh, taste and see how good he is. I said, he's good. Amen. I said, he's always good. He's a sweet smelling Savior. Amen. Take a deep breath of you. And you'll know how, how sweet he smells. Hallelujah, Lord. And we said, we're in the presence of the Lord this morning. Yes, sir. To give God some praise and give God some, yes, give God worship. Amen. We come before him humble, amen, knowing that he is God, amen, amen. he is our deliverer, yes, amen, he, he has set us free yes. from the chains that, that binds us, amen, oh, the chains that had us bound down, yes. God say, be free, amen, and where the spirit of the Lord is, yes. there is liberty, yes, sir. amen, I feel the liberty of the Lord this morning, yes. Yes. amen, I feel the freedom in the, in the Holy Ghost yes. this morning, yes. 
Amen. I can wave my hands. Amen. I feel the goodness of God all over me. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is above me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel. Hallelujah, Lord. You see how beautiful are the feet, hallelujah, of those who preach the gospel. Amen. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We are on holy ground, y'all, to worship and praise God. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. God told Moses, Moses, take your shoes off, son. The ground you're standing on right. is holy ground. Holy. Amen. That we are on a holy ground this morning to, to lift him up and thank him for his goodness. All week long, yeah. Pastor, amen, we wrestle. Amen. All week long, but now, amen, we are in the presence of God. Amen. With the, with the liberty, with his freedom, man. Amen. Hallelujah. God has freed us. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Though we go through trials and tribulations. The Bible says after we're born into the world, amen, amen, in a few days we're full of trouble. Amen. amen. We're going through something in our life, amen. The enemy is attacking us. Amen. You know, all the time that we was in our mother's womb, amen, amen, God knew us in the womb. But when we got out of the womb, amen, the devil tried to make himself acquainted with us. Amen. He tried to get us to do some, some evil things, try to make us think the, the bad, the wrong things. But God, amen, has stepped in. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. I said God has stepped in and letting us know that he is in us of a truth. Hallelujah, Lord. See, when we came to that altar, we asked God to forgive us for our sins. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. When we surrender to him, amen, the spirit of the Lord came upon us. Amen. amen. And overshadows with his will and his way. Yes. Amen. Our old things passed away, Pastor. Yes, our things have become new. We are new creatures in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so good. I'm so thankful to be in God's house this morning. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Amen. If I had to name, uh, hallelujah, this, the title of this message, I'd say, Jesus is the one. I said, don't be deceived. Hallelujah. I said, Jesus is the one. Yes, sir. Amen. There's no question that Jesus is the one. Yes. Don't be deceived. Don't let the enemy try to deceive you by all these little this, different things that are going on in our life. Amen. Amen. Try to pull us to the left. Try to pull us to the right. Amen. Try to make us think what he thinks. How he thinks. Being self-centered. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Flowing in the ways of the world. And God say, amen, if you love the world, he said, the love of the Father is not in you. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. God wants us to be delivered from the yes, things of the world. Yes, amen. Yes. Sometimes we can't there. Sometimes we want to go back to Egypt. Uh, amen. Yes. But God said, God said, I have delivered you. I called you out. Amen. Amen. That you would be an example. Amen. That to, to others, that others would see the, the, what I have done in your life. Amen. Yes, that it would draw, yes. hallelujah, all men. He said, we lift him up, he'll draw all men to him. Yes. Amen. I want to see the difference in your life. Yes, he said we're peculiar people with royal priesthood. Amen. Amen. So I want to see some peculiarness in you. I want to see some difference. I don't, I don't want you acting like the world. Amen. Amen. I want you to come from among them and be separated, said the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. And so when the world look up on you, they want, I want them to see me. Amen. Jesus said I want them to see me in you. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So they can draw strength from you. Amen. God said look at them on the things of others rather than yourself. Amen. I wanted to draw strength from you to know that there is hope in Jesus. Yes, sir. There is deliverance in Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. If you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, God said, Amen. I'll move mountains out of your way. All you all it takes is a little bit of faith. And faith, but faith come by hearing and hearing come by the word of God. Yes, and without faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen. So I need some faith, Pastor. Amen. I need some faith. Amen. Amen. And every time I hear the word of God, it builds a faith in me. Hallelujah, Lord. Every time I see a brother walking in the, in the newness of life, and then knowing that I, that, that spirit that he has bear record with the spirit that God gave to me. Yes, sir. It's so good to see another brother, amen. How good and pleasant it is to brother them, to dwell together in unity. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. We go in the same way. We go, so we're going to help each other along the way. Amen. amen. And when I'm weak in an in area of my life, I'm going to talk to my brother. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to my brother and we're going to have counsel together. Yes, sir. Amen. We're going to reckon, amen. And God's going to reconcile with us and help us along the way. Because greater is he does in us than he does in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. So, y'all, let, let us, let's walk around this scripture for a little while. Yes, sir. Amen. We're going to walk around it, amen. And we're going to try to die, die, dissect it in Jesus' name, amen. In 1 Kings, the 12th chapter, and the 26th verse, it said this. And Jeroboam said in his heart, now shall the kingdom returned back to the house of David. Amen. This is what this is what Jeroboam this is what Jeroboam did. He, because see, he was going against Amen uh, Solomon's son. Amen. Amen. Which is Rehoboam. Amen. So he said he said well if they if they go back to Jerusalem and worship God 
the true and living God, amen, that I'm going to lose them. And, they, and something's going to happen, they're going to come out and kill me. Amen. That's what, old, that's what old Jeremiah was saying. Now, when I see First King, amen, the 12 chapter 27 verse, it said, If this people go up to do sacrifice in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, then shall the heart of the people, of this people, turn again unto their Lord, amen, even unto Rehoboam, king of Judah. And then shall, then, then shall they kill me and go again unto Rehoboam, king of Judah. Amen. So this is what Jeroboam said. So now if these people go back to the true and living church where they worship God in spirit and in truth, amen, amen, they, they're not going to come back to me. In fact, they're going to they gonna plot to kill me. Amen. Let's go to 20, the 28 verse says that he said, whereupon the king took counsel and made two calves, amen, of gold and said unto them, it is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem, behold, thou gods over Israel, which would brought forth thee out of out of the land of Egypt. Yes, sir. Amen. So you see, so we see that again, Pastor. We see it in the book of Exodus. We see when Aaron took told the people, get take all your gold off. Yeah. Amen. Take your take your silver off. They threw it in a, in a pot, and Aaron made a golden calf. So since that time, since so the enemy says to to, to, to Jeroboam. See, it worked back then, you know, the people was chaos. God, God was upset of, at their way because they turned back to righteous living and doing all kind of man of like evil before God. So when old Jeroboam knew, he said, he said, we're gonna, we're gonna use the devil said we're gonna use that same thing again. We're gonna build some gold calves. We're gonna put one in, we're gonna put one in Dan, and we're gonna put one in Bethel. Lord, have mercy. So so that way they gonna be two cut off paths so they won't go back to Jerusalem. They'll stay right here and they worship their God, which is the golden calf. And that's what people, that's how people's heart is today, Pastor. Lord, Amen. Worshiping, they still worshiping gold and golden calf and money and doing all manner of evil before the eyes of God. Lord, Amen. And God can God can tell this stuff, you know. Amen. He wants us, and his people have been called out. Amen. To do great exploits for the kingdom of God. We gotta stop worshiping the things of the world. And then if we love this old world and the things that's in the world, it means God said the love of the Father is not in us. Amen. Amen. So if God's going to take care of you, amen, he's going to lead you and guide you to all truth, help protect you, yes. clothe you and feed you, amen, why should we be dependent on the things of man? I'm going to depend on the things of God. I amen. When, I remember when they talked against uh, Peter and John when they started preaching that word of God and they put them in jail and they, they came out and said, he said, man ought to obey God rather than man. Amen. We gotta, we gotta be obedient to the word of God, amen. Yes, amen. We gotta sacrifice, give, present our bodies as a living sacrifice, yes, holy and acceptable unto God. It's just our reasonable service, yes, amen. amen. Today we are still having people to follow after gold rather than God. Lord, I said they follow after gold rather than God. Yes. Today we still have churches with idol gods and statues following after the philosophy of men. And not of God. What man say? Amen. What did, you know, we want to be having that pat on our back with man patterns on our back yeah. rather than God being pleased with us. Amen. We need to be wanting to have make God happy today. Amen. Amen. Have a smile. You say, well, but no. Amen. It, it hasn't been done. Oh, yes, it has. Amen. If I look in the Old Testament, I see a man named Enoch that made God happy. God was so happy that, that he, he lived to be 365 years old. Yeah. God, God took him from the face of the earth, blessed his son, which is Methuselah. He lived to be 969 years old. And then you can make God happy. Amen. I said, you can make God happy. Yes, With a smile on his face. Yes, How to look him down and say, look at my son. Look what, look, look what, look at my, he, he has learned the word of God. He has studied to show himself approval unto God. Our workmen need not be ashamed. Write and divine that word or two. Yes, he got in the word of God and he'll, he'll be obedient to my word. I mean, he let the word of God digest. He continued to build a faith in my people. Amen. Gone out and tell people about, hallelujah, what I have done for him. Hallelujah. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. Glory to God. Testify. God has been so good to you. Hallelujah. We don't need to hallelujah, you worship gold and staff and have these things before us. Amen. amen. Put all these different things, amen, that God can even can even talk to us, Pastor. Amen. We get on our knees and we cry out and we do it. But we never once, amen. Amen. Sometimes after praying, just just, just stand still or just and then and just listen for a moment. 
Let God speak back to you. Amen. Let God talk to you. Let him minister to you. Glory to God. Amen. We want to do all the ministers. Oh, no, no. Wait. Before God can do talk, we say it's a mess. Just, just humble yourself. Yes, yes, Amen. Sir. And let God speak back to you. He's going to give you the answer that you're looking for. Amen. Glory to God. Stop wrestling with the things of the world. And we, sometimes God speaks to us. We, we want, wait, God, is that you? We want to know who it is because we, we've been listening to the devil all the so, so for so long. We don't know the voice of God. Lord, Amen. If you stand still and see the salvation of God. Yes, sir. Amen. If you humble yourself. If you develop that prayer life that you need. That, pray, that praise life that you need. Amen. You will have no problem hearing the voice of God. Amen. You remember when they, talk, they came against Jesus? They told Jesus. They, Jesus, Jesus they told me, they were talking about Abraham. How you know, they followed after Abraham. Jesus said, well, if you follow after Abraham, you wouldn't have no problem with me. Because Abraham, amen, he, he, you know, he, I mean, he took up some of my word. He know, he know who, who I am. Yes, sir. He said, he said, well, he said, I am before Abraham was. Oh Lord, that blew, that blew, that blew that mind. How can you be? If, how can you be? You have you, you have not been alone in Abraham. Those You're not even fifty years old yet. Yeah. But yet, still, you said you've been with Abraham. Yeah. Amen. So right now, they they, they got all disconcerted. Yeah. They wanted, they wanted, to, they, they wanted to yeah. kill Jesus. They were seeking yeah. to kill the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But God is so wonderful. He's so good, y'all. All we have to do is be obedient to his word. The enemy have thousands of churches that, that appear to, to be holy. Yes. But they are camouflaged. Camouflaged by the spirit of the enemy. Amen. Speaking good things, amen, but yet still, even the devil himself can appear to you as an age of, age of light. Okay. And don't, he, he, but he's not, he, he's not right. Yeah. He can appear to you as an angel of light, but he's not right. Amen. amen. So he have a form of godliness but denying the power there. And that's how all these churches, a lot of these churches are. Amen. They got a form of godliness. Yes. Amen. They good when it comes time to picking up tithes and offerings. Yeah. Amen. Calling so after that, that, that God again. But if they're not good at demonstrating the word of God, being holy, being separated, amen, you see them in the church, you see them out of the church. And the people that's in the church that come to hear, amen, the word of God, they're wondering, amen, oh, when he gets qualified, I can do that. I can do a little singing, Pastor. Yeah. Amen, I can, I, I can go out to the club. I saw, I saw Pastor, he was dancing better than me. Yeah. My God. So they, they, they qualified sin, Amen. And, and shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. We have to be good examples to the people, amen, that are watching us do, preach the word of God. Be a good example of what God is, amen. Amen. Be, good, be a good example. Glory to God. Come from among them. Be separate. Let the people see the peculiarness that God has placed in your life. You, you're peculiar people. Knowing that you're born of God, royalty. Amen. And you're going to stand for whatever God stands for. Amen. You're going to do whatever God commanded you to, you to do. Yes, you're going to be obedient to the word of God. You're going to study the word. Amen. amen. You're going to walk in this word. Amen. You're going to talk in this word. You're going to become, amen. You're going to become a mighty man of valor. Amen. In yes, Jesus sir. Christ. Jesus said it like this in Matthew, the, the 15th chapter. Amen. The 8th verse. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. Lord, amen. And they honor me with their lips. He said, but their heart is far from me. Amen. Amen. Teaching doctrines of commandment of men. Yes, They're teaching what men say. Amen. They make out their own little bit old, and this is how the servant's going to go. This is the honor. So we, we know that God won't honor, but when God is in something, amen, I mean, is that really? God can do anything at any given time. Amen. Brother. But you know, we're going to hold it down to an honor. We're going gonna to quench the spirit of God. Hey, hey, wait up now. You're going too long, brother. You're going too long. You, you know, yeah, you got to cut it off. If the Spirit of the Lord is at work, amen, amen. don't you cut it off. Let God do what he's going to do. Oh, amen. amen. And people are praising God, amen, and you want to get your little preach out. You, oh, well, you know, it's my time to preach. No, well, no, it's not. God is preaching right now. Amen. Amen. Just, they just humble yourself. Yes, sir. And let God do the preaching. He, he's preaching right now. People, when people are in the Spirit of God, dancing and praising God, amen, let so, so let it be. Let God have his way. Yes, let, this yes, is what it's all about. It's not about us. It's about what Jesus is doing. Amen. God could be saving somebody, amen, at that particular time. But now we want to quench the spirit of God. Hey, uh, 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 can you say that, brother, now? Uh, yeah, brother, yeah, it's time, it's time for me to preach, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I want to be seen. They got, they got some that come to be, some come to see, some come to be seen, and some come in between. 
But you know what, what we have to do? We got to come, amen, with a purpose in our heart to worship and praise God. When let God conduct the service. Amen. Let him have his way amen. in our life. Amen. I mean, so when I look at these people that, that uh, what I talked about earlier about the golden calf and these people, you know, they worship at idol gods and doing all these old things, amen, in the house of God. I mean, we have to be able to distinguish between the two because God has not given you, not, not just given you the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind, but he also gives you a spirit of discernment. That's it, you all me, brother. You got to discern that spirit, yeah. amen. Now, those people, amen, if, if they carry on and you know that spirit is not right, you shut that, that spirit down. That's right. You need to be seated, brother. Amen. Yeah. It's time for the word of God. Amen. But you got to be able to have that spirit of discernment knowing right. what you're doing. You're Don't get into God's way. No, but, I, but always look and be able to discern. That's what the pastor goes. He made his eyes to be able to see. Yes, Amen. Right. You can see things and you can feel it in the spirit. And let the Lord have his way. Morning, amen. Shut him down. Amen. We're not, we're not coming here for no show. We came here, amen, to be in God's presence. Yes, sir. We came here to hear what God has to say to his churches, amen. And we just heed to what the, what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. So when I look at the book of 2 Timothy 3 and 5, it says, Having a form of God is for the nine, the power of hell. Matthew tell me, 621, for, for where, the, the, where your treasure is, is where, you, is where your heart is going to yes, be sir. also. Yes, sir. So a lot, to, take this pastor for, for instance. A lot of people go to the church that really addresses how they are. Because see, where their treasure is, where their heart is. Yeah. So my heart want to be in a church where I can do just do anything I want to do. Uh -oh, I don't like that, that, that that's, that's my heart. So that, that, I'm talking about these different churches yes, where right. people is following after men and not following after God. Oh, you see? So now, if I can do anything I want to do, that's the church I, I want to be able to, yeah, you know, you know what, this, our service is just an hour. Soon after we, I can... I'm running to the restaurants. I want to get out of here. Yeah. Amen. And I hope God kind of put a little, a little number on my chart in heaven saying that I've been to church today. Yeah, 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 God, yeah, God, God, you see, I was here. I was present, Lord. Yeah. I, was, I, was in your, I was in your presence. But did you, did you heed to my spirit while you was in my presence? Come and that's why, you know what, Pastor? I think that's why God said this. He said, remember he said, I'm going to cast an hour dog on ruin and gash that teeth. But he said, many in those days will say, Lord, Lord, have not cast out devils in your name. And Jesus said, depart from your work of iniquity. I never knew you. Lord, have Amen. Depart from me. And these people, you would know those folks, those folks had the Holy Ghost, but it was found after the tradition of men yes, and yes. not after the spirit of God. Lord, so God said, depart from me. Lord, your work, I never even knew you. Well, Lord, I cast out demons in your name. Yeah, you, you know me. Yeah. Amen. God said, oh, no. Oh no, because you follow after man and not after me. When I tried to talk to you, when I was knocking at your heart door, you, you had your heart, you had your heart closed to me. But your, your ears was open to man. Whatever man told you, you you want you you was you got whole about it. You wanted to do it. We have to follow after God and let the spirit of the Lord lead us and guide us to all truth, bringing up the fallow grounds in our life, molding us and making us to what God has called us to be. Yes, sir. He called you, amen, to do great, great things for the kingdom. Amen. Whatever is in your heart, that is where, what kind of church you will belong to. My God. That's, what, that's in your heart. Your you always, you want, you want that mediocre service. You, I, mean, I can't have that hard, I can't t take that hard preaching. This man can come against my sin. Lord. And then sometimes I saw Teach, I, one guy testified, of, I mean, and he said, talk about this certain man. He said, this man was preaching against his sin. But before you know it, he found out the man was doing some evil stuff too. Pastor was laying, laying with other women. And so he felt, he kind of, how are you going to tell me to do these certain things with the word of God? Say, but you're getting still. I say, you do what you want to do. I say, brother, you're not accounted for. So for what the man is doing, right. but you are being judged by God. So if the man, if the man of God, if the man, that man preaching the word, yes, amen, this is where you gotta, you gotta take it from, you gotta take what God say. You, you can't follow after that man, though he fall, he goes out there and, and do the things he wanted. He gotta give, a, he gotta give an uh, a answer to God. That's right. He gotta stand before the judgment seat of God. But you are accounted for after hearing the word of God, amen. Now you got, now, now you are accounted for the doing what you heard. Yes, sir. Amen, amen. You gotta, you gotta do what you heard. I heard the word, amen. And it, it pricked my heart. It made me want to change. But when I started seeing men that was in the pulpit doing things that they ought not to do, I started following out the man again. And not after God. 
Amen. I got to hear this word. Yes, sir. And I got to digest this word. Yes. Amen. I am. I, I have to live this word. Yes. Amen. By the power of the, of the Holy Ghost. Now, you need to have power to live this word. Yes, sir. You, just, you can't say live it. I mean, you can take it and you can do all you, you can do and try, but you're not going to be able to stand. Exactly. You're going to have to have the spirit of God to be able, amen, to stand in the evil day. Yes, sir. And they say, well, what is the, uh, every day is an evil day. Every day the enemy will attack you, amen, at any given time. He usually attacks when you're weak. Amen. When you're going through something. I mean, you can look for attack from the enemy. Why? Because now you're vulnerable. Amen. amen. He always looks for the weak. Yes, amen. He, he, he attacks when you're weak. So, y'all, it behooves us to stay strong. And to stay prayed up, amen, stay fat, you have to fast, amen, yes, sometimes. Yes, amen, you got to push back that plate, you got to fast sometimes. Glory to God, find your strength, amen. amen. And so in other words, I'm, den I'm denouncing, I mean denying myself. I'm picking up my cross and I'm falling after him. I mean, I don't, I, I need to push back sometimes and say, you know what, fresh, you're just getting too strong. You, 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 you try to, I'm trying to fall after you and not, not falling after God. See your own, yes, see your sir. spirit yes, and your flesh yes, war daily. See, so we are in a, we're always in a battle, whether we battle against the enemy or we battle against our own self. Yes, we got, sir. we got things that we have to battle against. Amen. Amen. But having it all, we need to have our Lord and Lord about the two that have the salvation on. Be sharp with the preparation of peace. Amen. The shield of, the shield of faith that be, be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. If he's great in you, yes, let him be great. Amen. Amen. If you follow after him, don't follow after him mediocre, but follow after him with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, with everything that you have in you, every I, I, every strength that you have yes, within yourself, follow after God. Yes, Lord. Amen. Don't you know, y'all, that we have to be very, you, I mean, we have to be, we have to be prayerful. Amen. Man should always pray and never faint. Amen. Even though, I want you to give you a good example of how Achan was. See, Joshua told the people, he said, listen, everything that you get out there, the, the silver, the gold, amen, and everything, I want you to bring it back to the house of God, amen, because it's holy unto God. Yes, sir. Amen. So when, you, when, so when Achan got out, out, out in the battlefield, amen, he saw something that caught his eye. So just like I just said, the enemy looked for the weak one. Yeah. Achan, you know, yeah, look at that, look at that, that, that Babylonian garment. You know, you, if you that look good on you. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and you say, oh, it, it, yeah, it would look good on me. But look, 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 he got some silver, he got gold. I mean, Joshua ain't around here. I mean, I mean, ain't nobody around. You can, you can just hide in your clothes, and when you get to your, your camp, just, just, just put it there. Nobody ain't going to know. Yeah. But God knew. God saw. I said God knew. So, so I'm saying, you have to wait. So if, if your prayer life, your prayer life is intact, amen, if we're doing the things, if we're walking after the Spirit, we won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. So Achan flesh was lustful. Yes, sir. The devil knew he was weak. So he had him to take that garment, take a little silver, and take some gold, amen, and hide it, buried in your camp so nobody would know. So if they even come to your camp, they can't see it. Why? Because it's in the ground, amen? But God knew. And so when they went out to fight, fight uh, e, I mean AI, they didn't have no strength. Because they, Joshua ended up losing 36 men because of it, amen? And, and then they went out there with 3,000 of the soldiers, but because AI was no big place, they was gonna just the Israelite was gonna just, just you know just run through them. It wasn't gonna be nothing nothing hard for them to to, uh, to conquer. But they find themselves running away from the enemy. Right. AI had them running, amen. And so they they lose thirty six men. So when they come back to Joshua and tell them what happened, Joshua fall down on his hands and his knees and start crying out to God. Yes, sir. And God said, "Get up, Joshua. Get up." Yes, sir. He said, "Get up." Oh, amen. He said, "That's sin in the camp." Yes, sir. Amen. So y'all be watchful for brothers and sisters. Help out, help each other along the way. Right. You see somebody slipping or falling, don't let them just you know turn your back to oh no, I see they're gonna be soon. They're gonna be out of church in a little bit. Don't, we don't have to have laughter in our heart for our brothers and sisters. We need to help them along the way. Amen. See, I've been weak that for I've been weak in that area before, brother or sister. You know. This is how God helped me to overcome in that area. Amen. Give them an answer. Yes, sir. Help your brother. Help your sister. Yes, sir. Don't let them fall by the wayside and you don't do anything. And you see, amen, they stumble. Them. You see how they already stumble. Now the fall is soon to come. But if you don't say anything, amen, they, the fall will come. My God. 
God. Amen. God, remember, God, God told us about that. He said the blood would be required on your hand. God. Amen. See, warn them. Warn them. Warn the wicked, but also warn your brothers and sisters because in the house of God, even though these people was in the, in the right place, you see, Achan was in the right place. He was, he was in the tribe of Israel, but he was doing the wrong thing. So we got people in the house of God in the right place, yes, sir. but doing the wrong thing. Lord, have mercy, they listen to the wrong voice. Yes. Amen. Amen. So it behooves us, brothers and sisters, to join in and help each other out. Amen. 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 Detect. If you have the Spirit of God within inside of you, you should be able to detect when your brothers and sisters, they always notice they talk and be different. That's right. Because out of the burning of their heart, they might speak it. You're going to see when they started going to the left or the right. You're going to be able to, to locate them. Right. Amen? Amen? And address that problem. Address yeah. it. That's Say, right. brother, if you do this, like, like Moses told him, he said, if you go back and try to go back to, 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 to Egypt, he said, you're going to get beat down by the enemy because the hand, the hand of the Lord is not upon you. Lord, Amen? God, not gonna, he's not going to protect you in this. Amen. Amen? So when they did go out and try to do it, they got beat down by the enemy. Yeah, Amen? He, he was, they was warned. That's yes, right. We have to warn our brothers and sisters, y'all. It's, it's right here in the house. You can be in the right place, but steady thinking the wrong things. No. Steady doing the wrong things. Amen? Amen. It behooves us to help one another out. Amen. Love each other. That's right. And that's what God tells us. Say, beloved, let us love one another. Amen. For love is of God, and when the love is born of God, and know it, God. He that love it not, know it not, God, because God is love. If I love you, like I you know what? We go, we go throughout the church paths, we, we greet each other. Hug each other like we we so much in love, but yet you still, you know, when we get behind the closed doors, we talking about each other. Lord, you saw when she came, saw when she had on the day, all my, and you know what? That's all stimulate. It's a root that's inside of us. It came from the world while we was in the world. It's jealousy. That's right. Amen. It's envy. Amen. And all those things, all men are evil. Once you once you start to start to participate in one of them, the enemy ain't gonna stop right there. You can start to participate in all of them. Before you know it, you're going to be out of the church yourself. Amen? You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna talk yourself right out of the church yourself. Amen? By being in every, being a busybody in everybody else's business. Right. Amen? Amen? If you're not going to help somebody, right. please don't hurt them. All right. If you're that. not going to help them, please don't hurt them. Amen. amen? Learn how to lift up, amen, your brothers and sisters in prayer. Yes, sir. Praying for them, glory to God. Not talking about them, but if you're going to talk about them, talk good about them to the Lord. Say, Lord, I pray. Let my brother and sister be strengthened, oh God. Let the Holy Ghost fall upon them. Give them strength, amen. Give them strength, oh God. Let them be overcomers, oh God, by the blood and by the word of their testimony. By your blood, oh God. Let your blood be applied to their life. Amen, amen. Hey, y'all, we have to be strong in this thing. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Because the enemy, amen, if you're weak, amen, the enemy going to try to, amen, going to try to take you out. Amen. So be strong. Glory to God, amen. Glory to God. Joshua. Joshua, the seventh chapter, of 19 verse, and Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make, amen, confession unto him, and tell me now what thou hast done. Say, hide it not from me. Yes, Joshua having Achan to, to, uh, to, to come forward, amen, after knowing God narrowed everything down, and it points to Achan. So Achan, Achan I mean, Achan finally, he, he come clean. He said, he said and, and Achan answered Joshua and said, indeed I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus and thus have I done. Achan is telling him what he done, amen. And he said, he said when I saw among the spalls a goodly Babylonian garment and 200, 200 shackles of, of silver and uh, a wedge of gold of 50, 50 shackle weight. Then I coveted them and took them, and behold, they are hid in the earth in the middle of the tent and the silver and, and gold under, under it. So that's the Achan, Achan show, told him. All he confessed, amen, to Joshua what he's done. Yes, but you know, you know what's going to happen to Achan because of this? And that's what God said, you know, uh, God said a sinner, I mean, a, a, should not tarry in his sight. You know, God don't want us to just continue. You see, that shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Say, no, God forbid. Amen. God wants us to turn away from our sin. Amen. 
Amen. Don't participate in it. So what happened to Achan and his whole family, because of, after the sin was, was uh, disposed, God took, I mean, Joshua took, took Achan and his family, and they stoned them to death. And they stoned them to death. Amen. And they burned them, and they stoned them. Amen. amen. So y'all, what I'm saying, God, amen, capitalized on what, amen, that's what sin does, y'all. The wages of sin, what? It's death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. I said, the way you know sin is death. We are pilgrims in a strange land. We are just passing through. Amen. So y'all, let's just do, let's do what's right. Let's stay on the Lord's side. Amen. Like Moses say, those are on the Lord's side. I said, come on. Amen. Amen. So don't, then he said, gonna come a time, Pastor, gonna come a time where he said, those that are sinners, stay sinners still. Those that are saints, stay saints still. God's God gonna lock you into whatever you are. Amen. Amen. Amen, bro. Amen. It is always the right time to do what is right. Uh, be holy. Be separated. Amen. This world, be separated from this world. Be that precious, be that peculiar people. Remember, we are in the world, but not of the world. Amen. amen. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. We've been bought, amen, with a price. A spirit, the spirit of the Lord is inside of us. For us to live a holy, righteous, and clean life unto God. Amen. 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 We, we've been bought with a price. Again, amen, and people in the in the right church doing the wrong thing. Amen. And it, it's not, it wasn't just Aiken. It was, it was many of us that, you know, we, we see Coral. Amen. We see Dathan. Dathan and we see these people that came against, amen, what God was doing. Even though they was led out of Egypt, Amen. They started doing, the enemy started using people in the, in the Israelites. People to go against the man of God. Amen. God knew who he wants to pick. Amen. God knew who he chose. So why are we wrestling with what God, what God, what, what God has done? Amen. We, we need to get with it. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and do our part because God has called you to do, a, to do something too. Amen. We're all a part of God's body. I, I said we're all a part. So don't be envy. Amen. Don't be judged on what God is doing in somebody's life because God has chosen the foolish things in the world to confound the wise. God chose the rejects. Amen. Why? Because that reject always filled his heart. They can never mount up to, to anything. They always had always fallen and they was all, always faltered. They, they never really did make anything, completed anything. So God said, I'm going to take this nobody that everybody looks at as nobody. I'm going to make him, I'm going to put my spirit inside of him and they're going to look up, they're going to see the spirit of God. Is, he said, I know these men that has been with God. Yes, sir. They unlearned me. Yes, sir. Amen. But how can they, how, how can they do these great things, amen, that I can see that they have been with Jesus. I can see that you have been with Jesus. Your life has changed. Amen. I remember your life. I remember what you used to do. Amen. You did all kind of evil. You used to sweat, sell drugs. You used to, you used to drink and do all these manner of evil. But look, when I look at you now, I see something totally different. Your life has been changed now. Amen. Amen. And then the people started, you know what? Now, now I got some hope. Because if God can change them, it mean, definitely can change me. Yes, sir. Amen. And say, God is almighty, he is all powerful, and there's nothing that's too hard for God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, y'all, we're going to continue, and we're going to get to the good part. Say, keep, keep that. Now we're going to get to what we're going we're gonna to see Achan, even in the New Testament, we see people that falter. Amen. Being in the, in the right place. Yeah. Being in the house, knowing the right way. Yes, sir. But continue to do wrong. Okay. See, now, now, now Peter is talking, amen, to the, to the congregation again, telling them, amen, uh, we, hey, we got people that's less fortunate in the church. So uh, those that have, you know, too much, y'all go on and y'all sell these things and, and bring what y'all, you know, bring whatever, whatever you get from it. Yes, you know, amen. You bring it back to the house of God and we're going to distribute it to the people that's less fortunate. Amen. And so everybody agree, oh yeah, I mean, we, you know, we can do that. We can, we can do that. So we got to analyze the safari. They, they, they decided to do it. They, they sold their land. But between the two of them, they, they made an agreement, and the devil was right in the, in the plan with them. Oh, yeah. He was shooting shoo in both of their ears. He said, listen, won't y'all, yeah, no, y'all didn't think y'all were going to get this much money for the land. But since, since whatever, remember what you thought about, when you thought about how much you really was going to get for the land? Take that portion of it and give it to the house of God, but keep that, all that, that extra money that you, you know, that you got. You said, keep it for yourself. 
Well, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, good. The devil, the devil be having some, he got some good plans. He got some good plans for you. If, but if you listen, but if your heart is in him and Jesus Christ, amen, you're going to do what you say you're going to do. A man used to be, a man's word was his bond. Yes, sir. When he said something, that's what he did. Yeah. He stood for what he, what he said. But now this man has agreed with his wife. And we're going we gonna to take a, we're gonna keep a portion of this money. We're going to keep it for ourselves. You know what? We still got some things that we want to do around here. <laughs> you know, even though we, we God gonna, that was a little long yet, so we're going to keep it for ourselves. We're not going to even tell, we ain't going to tell Peter about that. So they go over there and bring the money, put it before Peter. And Peter say, he talk to him about it. He tell him, let, let me read the scripture. And he said it to him. Art, art thou, okay. Well, but, but what he did was he gave he gave a portion of it. So Peter said, "Why, why has you let Satan no, into your heart? You had you had the right and right intentions. Yeah. You were gonna do right, yeah. but now you let Satan, Amen, yeah. intervene. He let you let him into to your heart, and now y'all agreed to do what's wrong against God. You haven't lied to man, Lord, but you lied to, to the Holy Ghost. Lord, yes. What happened? What happened to to Ananias because of what it, what he's done?" He, he agreed to do wrong, being in the right place, being in the house of God, knowing the right thing to do, but yet and still, the enemy got into the plan. Amen. Now, he falls dead right before all the people that, right instantly, he, he, the bro, his brother was taken away from him. Three hours later, the wife not knowing, amen, what happened, she comes up. And Peter asks her, he said, he say, uh, have your son sold the land for dust and dust? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we, we sold it, we sold it for that much. He said, he said, the same men that carried your husband out, oh, they waited for you at the door. And that smooth you give him, bro. Give me that <laughs> this is a hard saying, y'all, because we right here here in the word of God. When we in uh, the, uh, the house of God that, that's preaching and teaching the word of God, amen, amen, and, and following after what God is saying, but yet still, the enemy is looking for the weak ones. Do you really believe? Do you, hey, you, you know what? You just think about it. No, when you was a child, you was you was raised, but you know you was poor, and you you deserve to have all this, amen. But God has blessed you tremendously, amen. But yet you still you still are holding on to the spirit of greed. You still you know you know you you need to be able since now you're in a place that you can meet somebody else's need. You still hold on to the spirit of greed. You want everything for yourself. And the enemy going to be, he's right there with you. Why? Because he wants you. Amen. He wants you to be against whatever God wanted you to do. Amen. So he's going to come against you. Amen. Trying to deceive you. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Amen. Amen. God is. Amen. He is the one. Yes, sir. And so I take, when I, when I tell you God, Jesus is the one, I'm taking it from when, when, when John, amen, if John the Baptist was in prison and he, and he tells his disciples, they go back. And ask Jesus, is he is he the one, or should we look for another? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So I want you to I want you to know I want you to bear witness to the title of this message. God is the one. Yeah. God said, go back and tell John. <laughs> go back and tell John what you would do. Tell him what you see and tell him what you what you heard, what you heard about. Eyes are being blind. Eyes are being open. Deaf ears are being open. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. The dead has been being raised. Amen. Tell John, yes, I am the one. Yes, I am the truth and I am the life. No man can come to the Father except by me. I am the one. Amen. I'm the one that put it all together. Yes, Glory to God. I'm the one when I got to Lazarus' grave. Amen. I was the one that told him to roll back that stone. I am the one. Lazarus, come forth. Glory to God. I am the one. Yes, Amen. Amen. When the man that was sick of a palsy said, Lord, if it, be, if it be your will, Lord God, you can make me whole. So I said, be whole. I am the one. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I am the risen Savior. Amen. And I can do all things. I'm the one, amen, hallelujah, that called you out of darkness into my marvelous life. I am the one that, amen, that put the puzzles of your life back together. Amen. Yet while you were still a sinner, I am the one that went to Calvary. I am that I am. I am the one. Glory to God. I'm the one that loved you more than you love yourself. I am the one. Glory to God. Amen. But it's time for us to recognize and realize that Jesus is the one. Amen. All power is in his hand. Glory to God. I say all power is in the name of Jesus Christ. There's no other name given among men, given among us, whether we must be saved, but only by the name of Jesus Christ. He is the one. He is the one. So who do you go through? 
Who you go to, amen, when you're in your trials and your tribulations? Who you go to when you're, when you're on your sick bed, amen? You call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, help me, Lord. Yes, Jesus, heal me, Lord. Yes, Jesus is the one, amen? Yes, Stop wrestling with yourself and wrestling with the enemy, amen? Amen. Cast all imagination down, bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ, knowing that Jesus is the one. He's the one. Hallelujah, Lord. He's the one that delivered you from the snares of the devil. He's the one that went to Calvary for you. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the one that took the crown of thorns in his head. He's the one that made him the third, the 39, the 39 strike saying one on his back. Glory to God. He's the one. Glory to God. He's the one that loves us more than we love ourselves. So what he wants from us for us to be obedient to the word of God. Obey God. Obey. What's the whole duty of man? Hallelujah, Lord. To fear God and obey God. Yes, sir. That's the whole duty of man. Fear God. I fear God in my obedience to him. I want to obey his word. Amen. Because I'm, I'm, I've fallen in love with him. Yes, Amen. Oh, Amen. He did for me what I couldn't do for myself. Amen. Amen. He took my feet off the mari plate. He put my feet on the rock to yes, stay. Yes, I said he took my feet out of this old world. Amen. I'm being all disturbed and being twisted and tied up in my mind. God has freed me. He gave me the spirit of freedom upon, on my life. Amen. He freed me from the snares of the enemy. Yes, Hallelujah. He is the one. He is the one. Hallelujah, Lord God. Oh, taste and see how good he is. He's a merciful God. He's a kind God. All the sinning that I've sinned, amen, I should have been easily in my grave. Amen. But God had mercy upon me. Thank you, Lord. Oh, wretched man that I am, oh, sin, born of a sinful nature. Yes, amen. Sir. Amen. Prone to sin, but God said, I called you out, son. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he put his spirit inside of me. Hallelujah. I can walk in the newness of life. Yes, I can walk in the power of yes, his resurrection. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. His goodness is all over me. Ah, Everywhere I go, amen. Hallelujah. People see his goodness. I am polite. I, I, I have a new spirit about me. Yes. I, can, I can speak to people, amen. amen. And knowing that God is and he is the reward of them that just seek after, after him. Amen. amen. Do I not, amen? He said, I stand the door and I can any man hear my voice. Say, heart not your heart. God didn't just give it to me. He wanted for all of us. Yes, sir. Amen? For God so loved the world and gave his only begotten son. Yes, sir. That whoso believing in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Don't you know the people of God, all we do is go to sleep? Amen? We don't die. We just go to sleep. And when, when Jesus comes back for his church, he's going to say, those that are dead, amen, they're going to rise first. Yes, sir. And the ones alive and remain going to be caught to live in the air, and so shall we ever be. Amen. In Jesus Christ. Yes, Hallelujah. Whatever you lose for my name, say God, say, I'll return it back 30, 60, and 100 fold. Yes, brother. Amen. God say, I am. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, I'm going to bless you. Amen. Amen. God's going to bless you on this earth. He's going to bless you going in. He's going to bless you going coming out. Amen. Your soul room will be blessed. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord. Amen. But you know what we need to do, y'all? These signs shall follow them to believe. Amen. I believe. In my name, they're going to cast out devils. They're going to tread on scorpions. Yes, Lord. Even drinking and dead, they will even harm or hurt them. I Amen. Hallelujah. We need to show forth the power of God. Yes, sir. But it's just like I was, and I think I want to, if I, I want to know if I testified of this. Amen. In being in a funeral the other day, and I was, I was, uh, and I, I had a chance to get up and, you know, express. And it's my uncle. He had passed away, and I, you know, and I was relating to the people. I said, we come to funerals. I mean, we go to wakes and funerals, but we come, you know, just, just, just mediocre. You know, somebody else has already passed. It, it, it means more than, more than that than we take it. You know, we take it because we see it so often. So many people are dying that we, you know, we just go to a funeral. As well, we. And that's the, the end time we're going to pay a visit to somebody that can't see us or even touch us anymore, that's when we're going to pay a visit. When the person is already, oh, all the right. years pass by, my Amen. sisters and brothers, they pass by, we don't even go visit, they don't even call them. But now that they passed away, now you want to go see them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they, they can't enjoy your, your, your visit. No. They, don't. they don't. Amen. But let, let it be, mean more to you. Amen. Not just that they, they passed away. Amen. But let it mean more to you. It, it needs to draw us closer and closer to God. Amen. Because one day we all got to be going to pass away. Yes, sir. But if we're in right standing with, with the Lord, amen, are we doing, are we just in the right place doing the wrong thing? Lord, amen. amen. Oh, yeah, I'm in, the, you know, I'm in this church. Oh, yeah, they, they believe in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Well, did you receive the Holy Ghost? I'm in this church. Oh, you know what? Uh, they, 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 you all see how they praise. They, they be praising the Lord. Yeah. Are you praising? Well, you're seeing a lot of things and you're hearing a lot of things, yeah. but are you involved? 
Oh, you involved. Amen. It behooves us to get involved with what God is doing. Amen. Because it may be your healing, even though you're sick in your body, your, next, your healing may be in your next praise. Amen. Your, your, next, your next healing may be in your next prayer. When your prayer, when you when you surveil it in the spirit of God, yeah. and you sincere unto God, and then God is hearing your prayer. Amen. Amen. And God, God wants to, he wants to answer your prayer. Yes, sir. But you know what God is? God, God knows the intents of every man's heart. Even though I can be crying, Pastor, God knows my heart. Amen. You know, up to, the, to, but to the exterior, and when people see it, man, they, 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 they really hurt. But inside, my heart is, my heart ain't, I'm not even, I'm not crying inside. In fact, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see you dead. No, Amen. And that's how some people's hearts are. Say, who can know the heart? He said, above, above all, it is the most wicked. Yes, sir. Amen. Sometimes we come and, and, and make a performance, but yet still our heart is not in there. But God knows your heart. You, know you, can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't lie to God. Amen. God knows everything. He hears everything. And you're wondering how could it be? This is, this is goes to show you how powerful and how good he is. Amen. He can be at every place at one time, listen yes, to every conversation at one time. Know what you're thinking before you think before oh, you come out your mouth. God. That's how powerful our God is. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah. He's a he's a he's a sweet smelling saint. Yes, sir. Amen. He, he's everywhere. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere at one time. And he knows all things. Amen. Amen. So don't deceive yourself because that's really what you're doing. You we deceiving ourselves, thinking that when we by ourselves, nobody sees us. Amen. And we can just do any amount of evil that we want, but God is right there looking at you. Yes, sir. I say God is, is looking at you. Yes. Amen. So so let, let, let the spirit of inside of you say, you know what? I can't I can't do this. Amen. Amen. Brother. Amen. Oh, what what did my brother say? When the when the lady, when the uh, the uh, the powerful, powerful wife tried to tempt him, try, try to tempt Joseph to lay with her, what did Joseph say? How can I sin this great sin against God? We didn't, we didn't let the Spirit of God hit our heart yes, and say, sir. how can I, I send this great sinner, knowing that I've been bought with a price, Amen. knowing that I'm a child of God, knowing that I participate in the things of God, but yet still, I let the enemy come and shoot you in my ear, and now I'm going to turn away from God and, and do what, what the enemy say, knowing that I got to give account of every idle word and every deed that's been done to this body. Don't you know your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? God said, keep it holy. Amen. Keep your body holy. Keep it separated. Yes. Don't defile the temple of God. Amen. Every, every now and then we, we have an inclination to defile God's temple. Amen. Cast down our imagination. Amen. Uh, Sometimes we, 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 we took it to lie, Pastor. Cast down that imagination. Yes, Go ahead and let the truth roll out of your mouth. Amen. Let the truth roll on out. Amen. It, it might cost you. It might cost you a little bit of flesh. But the truth, God knows that you, you said the truth. Right. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Let, let, let the Spirit of God bear record in your spirit that I want to do what's right. Amen. It's, there's no need for me to know all of this, know all of this word, but yet still going the wrong way and doing the wrong things. Amen. We're going to be judged according to what you, what you heard and what you know. Amen. Amen. You're going to stand before the judgment seat of God. We got to give account. Amen. To everything that's been done to this old body. As Hallelujah, Lord. Morning, Amen. God is good. Amen. Let's stay faithful. Yeah. Faithful unto him. Yes, sir. That's loving, not, not, in, not in word, but love him in deed and in truth. Yes, sir. It's a totally different thing. I can love him, like he said, they speak it with their mouth. He said, but their heart is far from me. Oh, my God. I don't want to be in no, I, if I'm in the right place at the right time, I need to be doing the right things unto God. Yes, I'm in the God house of God. God. But you know, the enemy has planted different people in the church, amen, to, to disturb it. To make it to be, amen, to, to appear, to appear unto, see, they're, unto the people, they appear like being, they're more holier than thou. But yet still, they're wretched. Lord, man, they're wretched and undone. Amen. And they don't want, they don't want to get closer to God. They, they want to, but it's all they came to do, like the enemy, God said, the enemy has came and he planted tares yes, among sir. the weak. But go. God said, let the weak grow with the tares. The day of separation, I'm going to separate the wheat from the town. Yes, sir. Don't go and try to pull it up. Because yes, sometimes we try, we're getting God's way. Yes. Amen. So that's why it behooves us to, to, when you pray a lot, when you stay in the presence of God, yes, sir. God is going to give you the wisdom and the understanding that you need how to address every situation. Amen. Pray for wisdom. Pray for, and everything you do, God give me wisdom in everything that I do, Father. Yes, give me wisdom, Lord. Amen. When I'm raising my, my, my children and my grand, give me wisdom, Father. Yes, 
Because in our flesh, we want to we want to discipline them really hard. You know, you, you, we, but you know what? Sometimes it's, sometimes it's good for you to sit down and talk and let and let them see let, and let them, let them confess their wrongness unto you. Yes, sir. What did you What did you do? Now I I, I know, but I'm not going. to, You know, I can whip you for it, but I want to give you a chance to confess. Like 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 Joshua gave Achan, he gave him a chance to say, confess what you've done, and he, and he, he confessed it. But even though he confessed he sinned against God, it wasn't against Josh. It was against God because the, the word of the Lord came out of Josh with mouth warning the people what to do. Yeah. So now you sin against God. Now, now like uh, Eli said, he said, he said, now, he said, when a man sin against another man, he can go to that man and ask for forgiveness. Yeah. But when you sin against God, who's going to stand for you? Nobody. Who's going to stand for you? It's nobody that's there to stand for you. So we got we to make sure, amen, we're doing things proper. Knowing if these men be of God, you're gonna find yourself fighting against God. Amen. Amen. Leave these men alone. Hallelujah. Leave them alone. Yes, sir. Amen. God, if, they, if they're not of God, it's gonna come to naught anyway. Amen. But if it is of God, you're gonna find yourself fighting against God. No, and then you can't fight against him. No, no. You can't win. Can't win. Amen. No, you Surrender win. yourself. Yes, Humble yourself. Always know that you you go all no matter how old you get, you're gonna always be a child. Yes. You're always gonna be a child. Amen. Your child under God. Be that child. Amen. Be that obedient child. Be that caring child. Yes, sir. That loving child. That forgiving child. Amen. amen. Because in, in the house of God, even though we're in the right place, mm -hmm. amen, trying to do the right thing, yes. unforgiveness is here. That's right. Amen. And if you don't let it go, the enemy is going to be like a cancer to your soul. That's right. It's going to eat at you and eat, yeah. eat away at you yeah. because you won't forgive. You gotta forgive, forgive your brother, amen. forgive your sister. Yes, Do good to those that despitefully use you and pray for them, amen. That did you wrong, pray for them, pray for amen. Them. And God, He calls upon His head, Lord, amen. For you know it, yes. amen. They gonna have a bound faith in life. They wondering how, how can you still love me, knowing what I done to you? How can you still love me? How can you still respect me? How can you still come visit me at my house knowing where I, you know I done stole almost everything I can think about that you had at your house. I done broke into your, 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 your storage out there and stole. You know it was me. But yet you still come to my house and you, you want to pray with me and show me the love of God to me. And, and the heat, the heat of the coals already done started. Yeah. The tears start flowing from their eyes. Because they know you know that they did wrong to you. But yet you still, you can still do right to them. Why? Because your, your, your heart and your love is not in the material things that, that God has blessed you with. Amen. It's in, it's in the love of God. Amen. My heart is in God's heart. Yes, sir. Amen. I want to be obedient to God's word. I want my heart to be soft and tender so when he speaks to me and say forgive somebody. Yes, sir. Amen. I'll be able to forgive him. Amen. And then God gave him a number. He said forgive your brother seven times seventy and tomorrow you start over again. Amen. Amen. God is literally telling you to forgive your brother many times need be. Amen. Forgive him. How many times, God, can they continue to sin against me? And God says seven times seven. Uh, Amen. Boy. So, y'all, we have to forgive. Yes, sir. Amen. If you don't want your prayers being hindered, right. forgive. Amen. Your prayers is being hindered because you won't forgive nobody. Even in our All Father prayer, it tells us that we need to forgive. Amen. He said, forgive your debtors, and I'll forgive your debts. Yes, sir. Amen. Forgive your debtors. Forgive the people that sin against you, and I will forgive you. I will take, I will, I will take you in my arms and love you. Glory that God is a good God. Yeah, he's time. faithful. He's faithful. Yes, and everything he does, he's faithful. So, y'all, if he's being faithful to us, even in our wrongdoing, he's still, he's still there to help us out, strengthen us, and help us along the way. Why can we be faithful unto him? That's it, Hallelujah. Why can we just lay aside the little things that keeping us away from him? Sin separate us from God. Let's get rid of sin. And let's lift up Jesus Christ. Let's get rid of sin. And let's lift up Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a new heart, a new mind, a new spirit. Amen. And let's bear witness to the spirit of the spirit of the Lord that he's placed inside of us for us to go forward and do great things for him. Amen. God is a good God. Can we just stand to our feet and give the Lord a hand clap? Amen. That God is so good and so faithful. Amen. He's watching over us. Amen. He's holy. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. He's holy in everything that he... And he wants us to be holy. Amen. And again I say, and again I say, amen, let's do what we need to do unto the Lord. And let's praise him with everything that we got. And be new people and new creatures in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray.
We give you glory and praise. Amen. I just thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you for the pastor of this church, oh God. I thank you, Lord, for the first lady. Thank you for the congregation, God. We thank you for the choir. We thank you for what you're doing in our life, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for you making our stumbling blocks, our stepping stone. We thank you, Lord God, for your word, oh God, that you present unto us today. God, we want to digest your word, oh Father God. We, we want to be obedient to the word of God. Help us, oh God, give us strength in our weakness, oh Father God. You even say in your word, let the weak say I'm strong. Hallelujah, Lord. And Father, we strong unto you. And we give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless us.